Good day guys, Bing here. Um, in this video, I'm going to um, just go um, go through some of the some of the exercise we did previously. So this one, um, and also I'm going to talk about um, this. So we're going to talk about a radius when when we array radius, how to control the number and the radius of this um, array. Um, yeah, recently I uh, have been working on my uh, school assignment. So this is my assignment and. Um, basically, you used some um, um, model we did previously. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Okay, so um, so first, so this one. So we're going to add um, a light, or uh, yeah. So in that uh, model. So uh, first, I need to find that far. So I think it should be this one. Okay. So this is it. So um, and how do we add a light? So basically, I don't like to use void. I try to. I always try to avoid. It. So, for for uh, instance, um, we don't really need a void because it's very small. Um, you probably need, and also you probably need some material. You know, if you have void, you yeah, it's it's harder because you need to paint or you know trying to uh, uh, try to um, apply the material in in that void and you won't we will probably not see that material so it's easier to just use solid so what i will do um is so i let me just tl so the easiest way to do it i think <laughs> is just from this because i'm going to place a po something here so i'll just draw select these two points and create a spline make it reference line and then we we have this reference line so we can place a point you draw on face and then we can place it on this midpoint so now we have this midpoint and then we can use the reference plane so if i turn if i ch um, show the reference and show normal reference on check and you can see see one of the uh, reference work sorry work plan so of this point so we can place onto this work plan so we can I'll just sh uh, quickly um, draw a so reference rectangle or maybe circle is easier <laughs> and draw on work plan set work plan pick this work plan and draw a circle there so roughly this big and then we, we can just create a solid uh, the other direction so I can drag this out and then uh, maybe five mil just give it a little you know uh, uh, sh uh, thickness and then we can give uh, a material or just create a pr material parameter okay so I just uh, just give it material sorry give it a material parameter and then we can load this in here so if if we want to we can just um, add so uh, add the material to it so you can use uh, you can do renders and you probably uh, uh, when you do render you probably need so um, I'm not quite sure about Revit because I haven't uh, uh, used Revit uh, to render for a very very long time but I know that in Lumion um, if 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 we need to create that you know so the light the the nice very nice you know light effect we need to add light in Lumion but I'm not sure about um, um, Revit or other render engine so and that's it so I just uh, create a little thing 
So you can apply different material to indicate and um, to indicate and the light. Okay, so this is it. So this uh, I'll just close this one and close this one. So another one I'm going to, I want to talk about is this one. So we did quite long time uh, quite long time ago, but basically last time I used face based um, a, a next nested family to place all these uh, these um, frame or bars or <laughs> steel. Um, but today I'm just I'm I'm not going to open that file. Uh, I just want to. Um, create a very simple uh, family okay so this is a family so what I'm going to do is I'll just pretend we have I'll just draw some reference plan okay so RP and this is a dimen dimension so this will be the width and I want to have some you know uh, offset and then um, we need a shape like this okay so I'm going to draw it using reference line um, I'm not sure if it's a good um, maybe hang on let me think uh, maybe we need a reference plan um, no 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 maybe not let's just try reference line okay so if it doesn't work we, we can try reference plan but let's try so uh, start and radius arc okay and then something like this so with this one so um what we want to do is we want to have uh, those families so if we, this is floor plan if you look at this we want to have some little uh, rectangular shape along this and then depending on the size of this one so what i'm going to do is um I try to. I wanted to try to make this parametric. So I'll see if this will. You know, okay, so it works. And also maybe I'll want to control the radius as well. So I'll just create a radius, and uh, I'll see if it still work. Okay, so it looks like yeah, it still work. But um, okay. <laughs> and then we have. Okay, so I think we have some issue. Oh, we we want maybe no 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 not this not like this. Sorry, we just draw it start from end half circle. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, reference line and start and arc. We want this one. Okay, so now so don't we don't need to worry about the radius because we can actually. We can, um, yeah. We can do this. We can add a reference line here, and so select this one. We can lock tangent, so this way we can the, the radius will change automatically uh, depending on the width of this. This, okay. So, and okay. So now what we want to do is we, I'm uh, we want to have a family here or here and the array and then depending on the size of the radius it change the number of this family so let me just create a family and uh, load it into here so I just use a generic model okay so and also I want just to uh, uh, create it very uh, quickly and give it a thickness so maybe I'll just type in 10 mil and for the width maybe um, um maybe 50 so I just type 25 so that's 50 and I'll just create an extrusion uh, I'm not going to worry about the 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 length or the thickness but I just want this shape so now lo I'll load this in here so now you can see spacebar so you can place we can place it here okay so i'll just place one here and then uh, i'll just use array ar and use this um radio 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 and then press space or use this 
center of rotation so you can use press space and click on this and drag and uh, actually we can use last okay so last and then finish here so oh hang on so we have some issue here because um we let me try three uh, something's not right. I go to the other side. Uh, let me <laughs> let me just do it again. I'll just delete delete on group. Okay, so let's AR. So um, space. Maybe this time I'll just use um, second and then I start from here to here. So and then when I type three, so the third one will go here. So now we have three one two three, and then I'll just select this or uh, not not select the reference line tab tab select this uh, array and we can create a radius okay um and also oh hang on looks like this array go to the middle of this family so this is interesting um anyway so let's just ignore this so what i want to do is uncheck this one so this become an uh it will not go further to uh to here instead if we change if we type in four it will or bigger larger number they will always stay in this half circle okay so now we can uh, try to create some uh, formula for this so for example so let me just uh, maybe I'll just check do a model line so this is uh, 300 that's roughly 400 so we probably we can what we can do is we can I'll just do a screenshot okay so we want this one to be the gap between them so for example uh, i want them to be 300 maximum okay so max and so we 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 can we can do a calculation we can just work out the half circle so half circle um, um parameter is pi times r okay so it's pi times r. r is this pi of course 3.141596 um, and so we and then divide we can just divide divide this divide this number by um, by 300 and we can get a number so which in which uh, uh, and then we still need to add plus plus one because when we array we will have extra so for example we have one two three four but the array is five right so it's one two three four five so all we, we we need to always add one to it so now let me just move this to the other screen and then we can just create a array oh, oh we haven't created a radius that's fine let's create this radius okay so radius um, instance or type let's try in ah, maybe type, type is fine oh we already have a where okay that's fine so maybe we can just use this uh, maybe not but it's okay we can we can still we can just apply this one to R so this will the width will match that so that doesn't matter so all good and then we go to family types so oh sorry we need to create that number so uh, array number so we need to select one of this uh, array a group and then trying to pick the um, uh, tab tab pick okay and then here so you can create a number for this array so i'll just call it number and type is okay and then go to family types um, number equals 
uh, here, this one. So, of course, the 300, we can set, we can also create a parameter for the, the 300 um, mil gap if we want to. I'll just call it um, uh, gap, okay? So, ga gap. And length, uh, maybe just use instance for this one. Oh, actually, if I use instance for this one, we probably need to use instance for all the, the other parameter. Let's just change them and change this one as well. Okay, so gap, I'll type in, type in 300 for now. And radius, all good. Um, number equals um, pi. Okay, so pi, pi, bracket. This is pi times r and minus uh, 300, which uh, we already create a gap, so gap plus one. And this is it. Okay, so apply and uh, okay. So um, sometimes you probably, you can't really tell or if it's correct or, or wrong, but I always, what I always do is I'll just draw a do a dimension between so for example this, between roughly uh, looks like it's a little bit ish um, I'm not sure how to dimension it properly maybe dimension it to the end point here or maybe just to this point yeah so it's 288 okay so and then I will always try to you know for example I'll, I'll try move this reference plan so to reduce the R and the C, and I want to see this, see this number. So it's, um, it go over 300. Um, maybe we can try to uh, try this, so round up. So this is uh, something I always uh, try when I try to work on uh, uh, arrays and uh, you know numbers. So let now let's try again. So, so move this reference plan to so see. Make sure it never go um, become bigger than three hundred two eighty eight. I think this one sh should be okay. Not exactly three hundred, but I think at least this uh, smaller than three hundred, right? Um, yeah, this is it. So now um, let me just go to yeah, <laughs> 3D view. And yeah, let's just try. So if we use different, um, so 600 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, 1200. And then we have more, but the gap uh, will stay. Uh, within 300 mil. Okay, so um, this is it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, so um, let me just have a look at what... Yeah, this one's quite, um, quite nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm um, just to have a quick uh, talk about this and I'm not sure about the... Um, Sorry, not sure about the uh, uh, steel bar rebus. Um, not good at structure. This is interesting, but can be hard. This is a bit complex. Um, not that hard, but yeah, it will take some time. And okay, so anyway, so that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have any ideas uh, or requests or suggestions, please just um, paste in this uh, document, please. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.